Welcome to Electron Online. One of the most basic laws in analysis of circuits is Ohm's law. Ohm has discovered a relationship between the current, the voltage applied to the circuit, and the resistance within the circuit. So let's take a simple circuit. Let's say we have a battery applying voltage to the circuit. We have the positive side on one end, the negative side on the other end of the battery. It forces current through the circuit. Remember that we assume the standard form of current from the positive end of the battery to the negative end of the battery and then we come upon a component that has resistance. Ohm discovered that the amount of current flowing to the circuit is equal to the ratio of the voltage pushing current to the circuit divided by the resistance opposing that push. So it's basically a fight between the battery pushing current to the circuit and the resistance of the components trying to prevent that current from flowing. The ratio of voltage divided by the resistance equals the current. This is known as Ohm's law. Very important that we know that by now, when you get to this stage of your studies, if you get into electrical engineering, I'm sure that most of you already know this equation. A very simple example, if we want to find the current, if the voltage applied is 10 volts, the resistance is 2 ohms, we can say that I equals 10 volts divided by 2 ohms, that is equal to 5 amps. amps is defined as 1 amp is equal to 1 coulomb per 1 second, so it's the amount of charge that flows per unit time, and 5 amps would be 5 coulombs per second. That is actually quite a bit of current, and under high voltage conditions that can actually be very dangerous to human beings. But in most circumstances, 5 amps with low voltage is not that bad to deal with. Again, current is equal to volts divided by resistance, and the unit for that is amps. A equals amps, and that term comes from the very famous physicist called Ampere, who came up with the concept of current flow, and therefore we named current flow after Ampere. And that's the concept of Ohm's law, which we'll be using many, many times over to the rest of these videos and to the rest of the course of electrical engineering.